security guard behind you? The gun behind you? That's not the gun. That's not a gun? What is it? I won't ask you again then. Oh, man, just one clip from National Geographic's Emmy-nominated docu-series Traffic with Mariana Van Zeller, who is with us now exploring the world's most dangerous black markets. Mariana, good morning. Happy New Year. How are you today? I'm doing great, Natalie. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So I got to tell you, I'm so excited to talk with you. I mean, on one hand, you've got such a lovely demeanor and smile, and I want to talk uplifting, but man, you dive down to really put the spotlight on things that people may know nothing about. So let's go ahead. Season two is here. I, I heard that you had been working on this the entire past year. Where are you taking us? What are we going to learn in season two? Yeah, we started filming right at the beginning um, uh, of the pandemic. And one thing we realized is that there's been an explosion in these black markets uh, during the pandemic. You know, whenever there's a, an economic downturn, whenever people lose their jobs, um, a lot often they turn to black markets. So we realized that this, se this series is more relevant than ever. And what we did is we went deeper into a lot of these black markets, but we also went wider. We started approaching subjects that initially you wouldn't think as a, a black market, but are very much so, such as the episode that's airing this week, which is about white supremacy. Um, we spent time with white supremacists here in the United States and abroad and um, sort of investigated how they're all connected and they operate very much like a trafficking network. Um, but instead of putting, you know, drugs in people's bodies or guns in their hands, they're putting hateful ideas in people's minds. And it was an incredibly important and relevant um, episode. You know, the clips that I've been able to watch, I mean, several times I'm like, boy, I'm glad I'm coming to you in my dining room and my safe confines because you really put yourself out there. And then already talking about the pandemic, all of the things that you had to go through with testing and travel, there had to be some moments where you were just like, man, I hope this story does influence, does open people's eyes because you really put yourself at risk in some of these situations. Yeah, that is always the goal, you know, is to sort of make some sort of a change and a difference uh, in the world. I think our jobs as journalists is to inform, is to give information so that people and governments and societies can make the right decisions with those in, with the information we're providing them. And in terms of, of black markets, that information is really hard to get. It's hidden. It's uh, often in places where most people don't want to go. Um, but I see it very much as as my my job to do so as a journalist. I've I've always been attracted to these worlds. Um, I think partly because of its secretive nature, but also realizing just how they're all around us and how they truly do have an impact in our world uh, and in our lives um, has really drawn me to sort of try to shine a light into the, into these worlds. And, and you do just that again. The popularity of season one now going deeper, wider in season two. I've heard you say. I'm curious though, informing is one thing, but even as a journalist, you're still a human being out there. Was there any line that really kind of shook you to the core, any storyline that shook you to the core this season that you really are looking forward to other people being able to see your journey with as the season progresses? I think the white supremacy is an incredibly important episode. I don't think we realize just how widespread uh, it's become, um, how many people are involved in these groups and how it really is a global phenomena and how people are sort of in gaining information and tools and sometimes even military training, as we found out in our reporting um, uh, from each other uh, as part of the, these white supremacy movements. And that was really scary. but. There's a bunch of other episodes that are incredibly important. We did one on illegal fishing, for example, um, which is also incredibly important, where we spent time out in the ocean and the deep sea going after uh, people that are fishing illegally. And uh, and it was really eye-opening. And then the romance scams episode that we did, again, a crime that exploded during the pandemic, but it is affecting so many Americans, and we're very unaware that this is happening all around us. Well, I'm glad that you are shedding light. You can learn so much, really be impacted when you check this out. Again, trafficked on Nat Geo, of course, also streaming on Hulu. Hulu kicks off the second season. Thank you so much. I want to go longer. I still want to dive more into this. So hopefully you'll join us again. Can you do that? Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely.